And welcome back. It appears Gen Z, Gen Zers are soured on the notion of having sex and hooking up. Mm. It's been called a sex recession. <laughs> a recession. According to the Pew Research Center, 60% of men under the age of 30 are deciding to stay single, and there's a few reasons this generation is not in the mood anymore, including social anxiety and an inability to create intimacy. Joining me now to talk about it, sex and relationships, expert Dr. D. Yvonne Young, entrepreneur Desiree Vian, and Gen Zier Chaz. Want to welcome you all here on The Factor. So let's start with, I would go to you, you're the expert, but let's go to the people who are not having sex. <laughs> or at least according to the yeah. All right, Chaz, you, you were recently here. So are you buying into this? Are you not having sex? Are your counterparts not having sex, young people? I, I want to put it all on you. Well, first of all, that's a little personal. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, well, how I feel about it is I don't think there's, like, so much as a recession. I think that people are like you know trying to understand their standards you know we have standards for people that we want to be with and sex is like a you know that's a personal thing between you and that one person and you don't want just anybody you know messing up your aura your zen coming in messing up you know what you got going on <laughs> and also your vibe. they could destroy your yeah, vibe yeah your God, vibe and i also feel like sex toys like there's <laughs> sex toys i mean <laughs> when you are having sex with somebody else it's not guaranteed that you guys are both gonna have a good time. Mm -hmm. With a sex toy, I'm always gonna have a good time. So <laughs> that's all I gotta say. But, yeah. All right, ma'am, that's right. <laughs> I mean, like she said, that's a little too personal. Yeah. But um, I can see both sides of it, I guess, because one, with the age of social media, you find out a lot. Because there's so many times I'll scroll through Twitter and somebody will be like, oh, me and my man just had an anniversary. And then somebody be like, that's my husband. Wow. Right, so it's just like now it's people get caught more cheating where they couldn't have back in the day. It's just like, do you really want to embarrass yourself like that in public? So people will restrain from like, oh, I just want to go and just sleep with this person, that person, because you know people do have evidence and take videos sometimes, and it's not really cool. And then the other side of it that I see is just like, come on, we gotta have fun, get like with yourself, and like. I get what she's saying, like, you don't want to sleep with just anybody because mm -hmm. you don't want to have anybody to have access to your body, but at the same time, it's just like, you have to be able to experience a lot of things in life, and I feel like you should be able to, like, you know, get down, put on some good little music, do what you got to do, and then do it. All right, Dr. Young, and, and I can totally get what she's saying, like, you don't want to just give yourself to anyone because you don't know who you're dealing with. Well, so your thoughts on that? Here's the greater truth. They grew up in a, in a time where, one, there's social media, lots of broken families. They watch their parents have train works. There are more divorces in Gen Z than ever in the history of marriage in the United States. So when you look at people who have had an opportunity to see, here's all the stuff that could happen. Here's what went wrong in my house, what went wrong with my mom and my dad. Why do I want to open myself up for that pain? The other part of it, this generation is much more aware and, and, and informed because information is right here. You don't have to wonder. You don't have to eavesdrop at a door. You can just type or, right. or get on your phone, and you've got everything from how to birth a baby to how to make a bomb. So you know sex is somewhere in between <coughs> those two things. What I would suggest is this is a good idea that people are finally taking themselves seriously <coughs> enough to look at life in a meaningful way and to stop uh, experiencing what I call the, west rest, uh, the best of the worst and the worst of the best, which is mediocrity. All right. We want to thank you guys for joining us. We're out of time. I wish we could go longer.